guys, I'm going to read Always and Forever. Otter, mole, fox and hare lived together in a house in the woods. Otter cooked delicious meals. Mole made and mended. Hare kept a beautiful garden of flowers and vegetables. And fox... He worked harder than anyone. He was always on hand with helpful suggestions and an encouraging word. To the others, he was the father of the house. They were a happy family and loved each other dearly. But one day, Fox fell ill. As the leaves started to drop from the trees, Fox grew thin, pale and sad. One morning he went out alone into the woods and didn't come back. His family found him still and cold, covered in leaves beneath an oak tree. With sadness they carried him home. They buried Fox by the light of the moon in his favourite place under the willow tree. The tree wept tears over him. Otter, Mole and Hare cried too as they said goodbye. A wintry sadness settled on the house in the woods. Fox's family missed him so much. They felt lost without him. He was so wise, said Otter. Whenever I had a problem, Fox always gave me good advice. He was so clever too, said Mole. You could ask Fox anything and he always knew the answer. He was so kind and loving, said Hare. He was always there to give you a hug when you needed one. Remembering the things that they loved about Fox made his family miss him all the more. Even talking about him, their hearts ached. They fell into silence, and so it continued, sun and moon, moon and sun. There was only deep sadness in the house in the woods. Snow came and went, the trees started to turn green once more. One afternoon, Squirrel came to visit. Where have you been? she asked. Your friends have missed you. We've been too sad to go out, said Mole. We miss Fox too much, said Hare. So do we all, said Squirrel, but life has to go on. How can it without Fox, said Otter, and he started to cry. Mole and Hare started crying too. Squirrel tried to comfort her friends, but they could not be comforted. They were very pleased to see Squirrel again, and they invited her to stay for dinner. Otter cooked a proper meal for the first time in ages. This is delicious, said Squirrel. She sat back in her chair and smiled. You know, there's one thing I don't miss about Fox, and that's his cooking, she said. Do you remember that awful pie he made? Yes, Odded Notter and smiled, and he remembered Fox's pie too. The potatoes were barely cooked, the pastry was burnt to a crisp. Fox was a terrible cook, Otter said. He was a terrible handyman too, said Hare. Do you remember that time he tried to make a seat mole? Yes, said Mole. The seat had fallen apart the first time Fox sat on it. They'd all laughed, especially Fox. And what about the time when you were sick, Hare, and Fox did the weeding, said Mole. He pulled up all the carrots by mistake. They all laughed remembering these funny things. It was a long time since Otter, Mole or Hare had laughed. Before Fox had fallen ill, there had always been laughter in the house. Fox had loved to laugh. Do you know, Hare said after a while, 
I'm going to make a special garden for Fox under the willow tree, she smiled. I'll plant carrots there. And I shall build a garden bench for us to sit on, said Mole. And I shall cook Fox's potato pie once a month, said Otter. But don't burn it, said Squirrel. I won't, said Otter. Mole, Hare and Otter sat together, often on Mole's bench in Hare's garden, full of Otter's pie, recalling happy times. As they laughed, they felt they could hear Fox laughing too, as if he was still there with them. And in their hearts and their memories and their laughters, Fox was still there, part of their family, father of the house, always and forever. The End <laughs>